Casa Ruby is a community dream, but it is also a community-based organization led by trans and gender non-conforming LGBT individuals. We address poverty in the LGBT community in addition to other issues like violence, HIV, unemployment, uh, but everything is centered around disparities that affect the LGBT community. I was 16 years old when I arrived in DC. My dad had put me on a bus from El Salvador where there was a civil war. There were support for Central American refugees. That was what they called us but nothing for people that were LGBT. Most of it was centered around HIV and all of the other needs were not met in some of the HIV places. So I wanted to open a program or an organization that supported people in all of the other things that are important to survive as well, such as a house, a job, education legal services, and that is what we do here. It's a lot of support, so people don't have to deal with those issues alone. I think the most important thing that we have done is that we have shown people that there is a need, because very often people wouldn't think of homeless people being LGBT. You know, we are fabulous, and so people will never make that connection. How can someone who is so fabulous not have a place to live? Unfortunately, we live in a society where there is a lot of misunderstanding about LGBT issues and certainly the transgender issue. You know, very early on, I met young people on the streets that had never had any type of support or even love for being trans. And I realized that I was doing a lot of restoring in their lives because I will always celebrate them, I will always support them and love them for just who they are. My name is Percy Kramer and I'm the lead house monitor for Casa Ruby. I started volunteering, so last year I was looking for, you know, a place. I'm trans and, you know, I, I looked online, I was like, where is like a trans group that I can, you know, connect with? And I went to the community center on Georgia Avenue and I didn't really need services but I still wanted to feel connected so I started volunteering. I think a lot of people still see us as you know odd um, or even high maintenance. The DC employment report just came out and there's huge discrimination against transgender people in the workplace. Like people have these wild ideas about transgender people just being you know the drag queen or, you know, they're going to be a big burden, or they're going to need a lot of medical help, you know, the insurance premiums might go up or whatnot. And I feel like all that stuff just isn't true. And it's really unfair that people don't give us a chance. Well, we're just another uh, place where people can be themselves. If you are watching and you are a person that has faced rejection, or felt at some point disposed by this society. Stay strong uh, and we would love to see you. If you are a person who understands what rejection and what impact it has on a human being and you wanna do something about it, we uh, welcome you to volunteer with us or, or actually help us uh, get the issues out in the open so solutions can start coming.